Good morning, happy Wednesday. Today is November the 2nd, and a couple of things. First of all, yesterday I found out that Takeoff was had died, and if you don't know who Takeoff is, he is technically one half, or he was one half of the Migos, but originally, because there were three, he was one third of the Migos, and I love the Migos so much so that I've seen them in concert and all of that kind of stuff. So I've been, you know, just kind of reflecting on that and remembering him by listening to a bunch of their music. But anyway, that took place yesterday. So that was a little disturbing, more disturbing though. I got to school and I learned that one of my students had done something very, 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 very bad. And it airs on the side of inappropriate but I'm gonna leave it at that so that was very disheartening I don't really do you probably you probably might think that I have seen and done and heard it all as it relates to my career and you know stuff like that but it doesn't make it easier whenever I find out any difficult type of information or any sad or heartbreaking information I don't think I, personally I don't grow numb to the hurt or the heartbreak or whatever it just it lessens the blow. It has lessened the blow. And I'm not as shocked as maybe the average person. I'm not shocked, but it's still heartbreaking. So yesterday was a little interesting. Came home and I finished editing my October vlog part two. You guys, that video is over an hour long as well, which means that in total for the month of October, I probably got like three hours of footage when I was fully expecting to get like 30 to 45 minutes, but it's fine because I just broke up those videos into two. I released one, like part one, October monthly vlog part one around the middle of the month and I'm about to release the second one today. Today is Wednesday, November the 2nd. If I didn't say that already, Wednesdays I release videos, so I'm gonna publish that. So yesterday evening, I spent the evening finishing editing and prepping that video to be released today but there were some other things that I wanted to catch you guys up on I don't really remember but I am wearing this blazer from boohoo so I just wear it as like a light jacket it is still 70 something degrees here in the uh during the day here in Georgia so it requires a light jacket in the morning so I just wear this as a light jacket and then I wear some different kind of shirt underneath I normally go for like a mock neck or a turtleneck those are my preferred types of shirts, I guess. Anyway, that is what's happening, and that is why you see this a whole lot, because it just matches so well with everything, and it's like a nicer kind of light jacket. So I strongly recommend this blazer as like a light jacket, because it's not very expensive. It's not super high quality. It'll be perfect for a fashionable light jacket. Anyway, I have put my hair in a puff today. It looks a little weird because it always does when I'm in the car, but that has what, oh, that's what I was going to tell you guys. We got third place for our little pumpkin thing. I'll put up here the competition. So we got third place and my husband got a gift card to Starbucks because there were first, there was a first place winner, a second place winner and a third place winner. He doesn't go to Starbucks. He doesn't drink coffee. I drink coffee sporadically. When I go to Starbucks, I normally just get like a tea. So that's my gift card. It is now the gift card that I won. Plus I helped him to create it. So it's only fair that the gift card belongs to me. And then tomorrow we have a wedding anniversary. So it'll be our sixth wedding anniversary. We're not planning to do anything to just stay at home, treat it as a regular day because the next day, yes, on Friday, we're going on our wedding anniversary trip. So that is kind of what's coming down the pipes for us. There was something else that I wanted to tell y'all. Probably maybe that I picked out my nail. This probably isn't it, but by the way, I did pick out my newish nail design. I think I'm gonna get this. Look how cute this is. Well, you can't even really appreciate it. But it's like a matte. I think it's like a matte and then a white. I tried matte for the first time recently. So I think I'm going to have them to point Make it a little bit more pointy, a little bit more almond, perhaps. Well, this is like perfectly almond. Maybe a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more pointy and then do this exact same thing. I think that's going to be cute. Plus, I pretty much have those colors going on now. So I think that'll be cute. So I think that's going to be my nail color. So I will get my nails done on Friday. Is that all that I had to share with you guys? Oh, the last thing is yesterday I was feeling relatively kind. My friend had had a 
bad day. She's a new mom. And she's a stay-at-home mom currently. She had a, an emotional day. What's today? Today? Maybe Monday. She had an emotional day on Monday. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. I go to sleep early. Like, sometimes I'm asleep at 8-something, 9. I just listen to my body. Whenever she's ready to shut down, we shut down. And so... She texted in the evening and I was asleep and I didn't get it until the next day. And I mean, I just went straight to work and carried out the day, which was yesterday. And I was like, oh, shoot, I never checked in. So um, I'm going to send her some flowers or I did send her some flowers. She loves flowers. So I ordered her some flowers yesterday. They're supposed to be delivered today. So that was cool. There are um, there's an area in our budget for random donating and giving which is kind of like planned because if I'm planning if we plan to put money in that budget or in that fund if we plan to fund that fund then technically it's not really planned but we don't really know what we're going to give we just know that we are going to give so I love having that line item for that I don't have to think twice my husband doesn't have to think twice and I just felt like hopefully that will cheer her up good morning happy Thursday. Today is November the 3rd. It is our sixth wedding anniversary. We met actually exactly 10 years ago on November the 3rd. So November 3rd, 2012. We started dating shortly after, but you know, November 3rd is significant because it's the day that we met and also the day that we got married. So we don't really have any major plans for today because we're going out of town tomorrow. So we've agreed to lay low and we've communicated that. My husband's like, so you don't want a gift, you don't want a card, you don't want whatever. I'm like, you can produce something if it's free. So if you want to make me a card or whatever, whatever, you can. But since we already have this weekend ahead of us, that's going to cost a decent amount, which by the way, we booked a walking food tour. So we'll do that on Saturday. That's one of the things we'll do there. But that's what took place yesterday. Yesterday was a pivotal moment for me because you guys know how I feel about my job. It's very different from any job that I've ever worked in the last 10 years. I've been trying to adjust. I'm not a person who can just adjust to circumstances that are so far from my typical circumstances. So yes, I can adapt if I have to go to this meeting and cancel this or, you know, rearrange my schedule. But trying to adapt to a whole new way of providing services, particularly clinical services and social work services, is foreign to me. And I've shared it multiple times before that it's not for me. Now, here's the thing. It wasn't until yesterday when I finally got that confirmation. You know how sometimes, you know, you're kind of like treading... And you know something may not quite be for you or you're not supposed to do something or maybe you're supposed to do something, but you really just want that sign to know that, you know, maybe what you're doing is right or maybe what you're doing is definitely wrong or maybe the decision that you're about to make is definitely wrong and you just need that sign. I don't know how to explain it, but to me, I've been kind of putting my best foot forward, but also keeping my eyes open and my ears peeled I think is what they call it just kind of waiting for a sign not purposefully waiting for a sign but I'm like if this job isn't for me I will have a clear sign and that took place yesterday so I just blew out my hair and I am attempting essentially a twist out on blown out hair I don't something tells me I maybe should have done the twist smaller and I'm a little concerned that this isn't gonna give what I think that it's going to give, but we'll see tomorrow. Worst case scenario, it just has like a little bit of definition and volume and I can just, dang, that is completely washed out. And I can just have like a really blown out twist out. I don't know, we'll have to see tomorrow. I use the Deuce, the Dew Gel. I was saying the Dew and Mousse, but I wasn't supposed to be saying Mousse anyway, but I use the do gel and I've never used it before on a blown out style of any sort so we'll see how it goes I just use gel because I feel like maybe when it dries it'll have the mo it'll provide the most volume and definition I'm not really sure because I feel like I should have used more but I didn't want to use enough to where it would revert so I guess we'll see and if this turns out like looking crazy then I'll try it again because my hair's already blown out so I'm gonna leave it blown out that's the positive. My hair's blown out, so I'll leave it like this until I can't wear it like this anymore. But 
anyway i will check in with you guys tomorrow so we can see what this looks like otherwise i'm about to go edit saturday's video i don't have to but i think i will because we are going out of town this weekend for our anniversary and i already have a video filmed that i filmed last week in preparation for this so i am going to edit it today so that i can prep it and all of that you know today and then i'll just set it to auto publish or whatever this weekend so i don't have to do any work so anyway i will check in with you guys later so when i woke up and took down my twist i looked a mess i probably put about four twists per section so maybe 16 twists in my hair like i would normally if my hair were wet and so i think that was the issue i think that I then needed to ensure more definition, so I probably should have done double the amount. So I probably should have had a good six, wait, four, eight, 12, 16, 32 twists in my hair. So that, when I took down my twists, I looked crazy. And so I'm back to rocking Afro puffs, which I'm laughing at because I could have rocked Afro puffs without having washed, conditioned, and blown out my hair. Anyway, happy, Friday, today is 11-4. I am here at work, just got here. I'm thinking about filming some sponsored content. To be fair, the, the content's only 30 seconds each. Like one Instagram story is sponsored, will be sponsored, it's 30 seconds. And then a TikTok for a brand is like 30 seconds as well. So I'm thinking about doing it only because as the day goes on, I just feel like I just look, look worse, <laughs> meaning that my hair looks worse, my makeup normally looks worse, although I don't have too much makeup on currently, but my eyebrows, uh, I did kind of feel in my eyebrows, they tend to look worse as the day goes on. So basically, I'm thinking about filming it now because as the day goes on, I typ typically look worse. I don't know though, maybe, maybe not, but either way, I am about to start seeing these kiddos. I was counting how many kids that I have or that I see regularly yesterday. And I think it's 38, if my math is correct, as far as the ones that I see regularly. Cause I've, I've dropped, a lot of mine have moved away. They've transferred, they've been expelled. They're not around. So there's that. Anyway, um, yesterday I did a lot of sessions. Today, I'm gonna try for one student. She might be sick again. She's been out sick all week, so chances are she's not here again today, but I'm gonna try her. Another student I couldn't catch yesterday, gonna try to catch him today. Another student I'm gonna see today, and then another student who doesn't come regularly. By doesn't come regularly, I mean might come every seven days or something. So I'm gonna try to see him, but otherwise, I am going to that's gonna be it. I'm gonna try to see four kids and then I have a meeting and then I have other things to do throughout the day. But for the most part, I have seen a lot of kids this week. So I'm about to head to do all the things and I will catch, it, catch up with you guys later. I did drop off Lady today. And when I get off of work and when my husband gets off of work, we will head to our uh, to Columbia, South Carolina for our anniversary trip. So I'm super, super excited about that. I will, I keep this camera on my person at all times, which is how I'm vlogging nowadays. So I will be sure to share some snippets of our anniversary weekend. I don't mind sharing snippets. You know me in one-on-one -on -one time with people. I try not to be on my phone or electronics or whatever, but I may be okay, possibly, with showing snippets, especially like a little show of the hotel or you know something like that but we'll have to see anyway i will catch up with you guys later you
can't you Yeah, you make me feel like we could do Oh, you make me feel like we could do it All over again, all over again Just got to the location. Just found our tour guide, and yeah, we found some shade because it's, it's, it's a little bit warm. It's a little warm out here. It we is. Didn't, we What's did the not, weather? This, I knew it was going to be 70 something. Yeah, I'm but perspiring. I feel, like this, I feel like yes, I'm definitely perspiring. <laughs> I'm, I'm wiping it off. Um, I feel like 70 something doesn't feel like this. And this ain't the same this, 70 this, in this Georgia. It's not 70. In, it's, it's 70. Unless it's up. Wait. Well, I guess, it might be almost 80. It might I feel like 80. The humidity. Yeah, if this sweating. is, yeah, I'm sweating. Um, can you see? Yeah, I'm sweating. Oh, that wind is good. Oh, yes, Lord. That wind is beautiful. I'm wearing, Lovely. oh, yeah, I do good. This camera microphone is supposed to do good with wind. I am wearing Afro Puffs in honor of. Takeoff? <laughs> <laughs> Who was you about to say? You! In, me, in honor of yeah, me. Yeah, because you let me wear my natural hair. I do. So I, it doesn't get so, any more natural so, than Afro Puffs. So that's that why I she's used been to wear. wearing her natural hair in her latest videos. Because I say I like her yeah, natural he hair. Yeah, he loves my natural hair. And it doesn't get any more Afrocentric than Afro Puffs. The same ones that my mom used to give me when I was in kindergarten. Like seven, eight Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I love the afro. Yeah, let me um, give you guys a cause tour. all she's been doing is the braids lately. And yeah. I tell her I love when she takes it out. And I love the afro. And I love when and I And whatever don't... she can do, twist it up and do yeah. whatever. There we go. There we go. I've lowered my exposure. Uh, so you, where are we? We are, I believe this is the African American Memorial. No, I think that's it. The African American Memorial So where, where is this statue. place then? This is the... Does it have a slide? It do have a slide. Let me look up on the map and see where we are. And where, what are we about to do? We're about to take a food tour, a food walking tour, or Correct. a walking food tour. And they say wear comfortable shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I don't right. wear sneakers, so I have on flip oh, pops. Did you sell my socks? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got these for him for Christmas. I feel like it's only appropriate. <laughs> They're a picture, on our of, exactly. It's the picture of me repeating itself. And this is the Christmas gift that she got us, got me last year. Correct. Um, during that competition Correct. we had, this is the only probably. Thing that you use that I, a lot, yeah. yeah, or maybe your wine glass, but it's probably, probably because I forced you to use it. In New York, okay, excellent, awesome. Um, uh, wow. Um.
camera has been having technical difficulties literally all day, but she's working now, which is perfect because I have a little haul. So happy Sunday. It is 622. Just picked up Lady from boarding because it closes at 6 and basically we came home and kind of like cleaned up and then went to get her. So before I picked her up, I went to Target, which is rare for me, but you guys, I saw these shoes, which this lighting is trash. It's not really doing them any justice, but about I'll bring them out. Anyway, I saw these shoes and I had to have them. Sometimes they're just things that you can't live without. So these are those for me. I love a wedge. I love sparkly. I just love everything about it, honestly. I'm going to wear these to work. I'm gonna wear these out on the town. I'm gonna to wear these on New Year's because they're like a perfect New Year's shoe. I'm gonna wear these to essentially every party. I wear my shoes though, to be clear. All of my shoes I wear. So I picked up these from Target and I'm obsessed. They were like 30 or $40. And then I actually went there for to get some more um, mousse the do mousse, but they didn't have any at that Target, which is annoying because that's the primary reason why I went there. But I picked up this Air Volume Mega Mascara. Never tried it before. Oh my gosh, this lighting is killing me. What about this? Yeah, it's much better. Okay, so let me show you the shoes then. I can't. They're so pretty. Obsessed. So those are the shoes. This is the mascara. Never tried it before, but I'm out of mascara, so I picked up this Air Volume. I always get the blackest black. Just makes sense to give the most drama. And then I also picked up this NYX. Come on, you can do it. NYX Professional Makeup. I mean, it's a brow pencil. So, what color is this? Espresso. That's normally what I get. Espresso because trying to get this to focus. Come on, you can do it. I got espresso. I normally get espresso because I don't like like a lighter brown nor do I like a darker brown, almost black kind of thing. That's not good for me and my complexion. So I normally get an espresso and then I picked up a bunch of wallflowers because they were $2.95. So One just fell. Of course, one just fell. Whew. Good thing they're very sturdy. So I picked up two snowy peach berries, which I actually wanted three of them, but they didn't have three in stock. So then I picked up a Twas the Night Before Christmas. This is a new scent. Then I picked up probably three champagne, maybe three champagne toes. Maybe not. Hold on, let's see. Three winter candy apple. Yep. And then, oh, they messed that up too. I was supposed to have, fix it, Jesus. I was supposed to, oh, okay, these are three. Why are they different colors? No, they're not. Okay, three champagne toasts. We have three wallflowers, two downstairs, one upstairs. And so I, I just bought groups of three. I normally like for all of them to kind of have the same scent. Just makes the most sense. But sometimes they don't. It just depends on which one runs out faster or whatever. So that's why I was trying to buy three of the same scent. But anyway, I'm gonna add these to my little collection, which is non-existent. So this is where I keep, I used to use the Febreze things and I'm not mad at these. Look how dirty this is. I'm not mad at these, but when I kind of cross reference, I don't know, I tried these out and these actually are more cost effective and I like them better because there's so many different scents. Whereas with the Febreze ones, there aren't that many scents. I normally just reused Bora Bora waters and a couple of the others. So I actually had none. So when I saw that these were $2.95, I went ahead and I purchased some because I don't have any. So I went ahead and got three. I was trying to get um, like champagne toasts. I can use that whenever. So I don't think I'll use, we'll go through three rounds of these this holiday season. So I wanted to definitely get like some winter candy, Christmassy type ones. So that's why I got these and then kind of the snowy beach, snowy peach berry and the champagne toast ones I feel like can be used around the clock. But anyway, home now and 
lady is currently getting a bath and I am about to do the same. So I'm about to get a bath as well. Oh, that's what I was doing before I discovered that my camera, before I figured out what the trick was to fix my camera, I was about to input some transactions into Notion because I just spent some money. So I'm gonna import those transactions. When we got back earlier, I did go ahead and update our expense tracker. So I'm about to input those transactions now and I keep my receipts in this drawer right here. I don't see me taking the, anything back because I know I love this. I don't really care about mascaras. Mascaras mascara to me. I mean, I do love the better than sex one, but it costs too much money for me to really care to use it. So I can't imagine I'm taking it back and then the shoes I am not taking back because I'm about to wear those tomorrow <laughs> to work. So that is it for today. I guess I will check in with you guys later. So we are getting Happy Tuesday. It's election day. But before we elect, I am going to get our card detailed. This is going to be a mobile detailing. Now, truth be told, I could do this myself. I have all of the equipment, but I feel like why do for myself what I can pay a decent price for someone to do with me and I can just continue on about my day because I'm off work today. My husband isn't, but I'm just kind of sharing with you guys what I hope that they will be able to get. Not that, but like all the dog fur, just all the things. But our car isn't too bad, but it does need detailing because I want it to continue to look decent. Look at this from when I had a lot of kids around this past summer and my nieces and whatnot. And yeah, it just needs some TLC because me and this dirty car, is, this isn't it. So I'm just gonna take out everything that I can, which isn't much. I think this and those two items are the only things that I really need to take out. Let me show you the front. This is the front, which truth be told, when I take this to the other little detailing place, like the unofficial car wash detailing place, they do a good job with cleaning it and cleaning all of that up. But yeah, I want all the dog fur and all the things gone. See, our seats don't look like that bad. There's something there. I just want it all cleaned up. So I'm gonna clean out this and then wait for them to get here and I'll show you guys the after. This is my go-to style when I wanna look like I put time and energy into my look, even though I didn't really. I mean, as long as you have like a nice looking purse, I feel like that's all that really matters. So I'm here today with my Teddy Blake purse, which I bring out every winter or fall winter, you know, it's just like a cool tone and I just feel like it screams fall or winter. I'm off to vote, but before I do that, I am gonna share with you guys the detailing job that the guy did because I think it was good. So let's look at that first. last week or so been interesting so first things first i picked up this stanley cup in cream the cream color highly recommend everybody asks me where i get it from people who don't know that it's a popular tumbler popular cup and i tell them they're like it's expensive isn't it and i'm like it's like 40 dollars, and they're like 40 dollars. i'm like yeah i mean i pay 40 dollars for cups all the time i mean not all the time but over the span of my lifetime, I've probably purchased, you know, a cup per year that's $40 or more. <laughs> so $40 doesn't seem like a whole lot to me, but highly recommend the Stanley Cup. I'm loving it. 
and I don't know if it's life changing or anything. The cool thing about it is that it fits in my, it's huge and it has a nice sturdy handle and it fits in my, um, fits in my cup holder. That is super important. Anyway, um, what has happened? We went to a comedy show for my husband's friend's birthday. My husband and I had a falling out <laughs> because I think we had the biggest falling out we've ever had. It lasted, okay, I'm not even gonna tell you how long it lasted because people will probably laugh at how long it lasted or didn't last. But yeah, we had, which is interesting because we celebrated our anniversary earlier this month and then we had a big falling out, which isn't funny, but kind of funny because we just celebrated our anniversary earlier this month and then we had our biggest falling out, AKA our biggest disagreement or whatever you want to call it that we've ever had. But you know, I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> so I have with me um, my new scent. So I just got my scent bird. It comes in, ooh, it comes in this package whenever you don't get a case, apparently. Why is this not doing? Okay, I, I was about to say, I pay big money for this to focus expeditiously. There we go. Ooh, it fo focuses so beautifully. So that is the package that it came in and I purchased. I'm not even gonna try to tell you what this is. I'm just gonna show you. This is what I have purchased. So I'm excited to start using it. I don't know what has gone wrong, but I still have some left from my last uh, scent bird. So it says that it's a 30 day supply, but I probably have like a good week and a half left. I only apply it once a day and I spray like three sprays. So in case you're wondering, if you apply it daily and you only spray three or less, then it should be able to last you you know, a pretty good while. So I am loving that. When I opened the package, when I cut it, I honestly accidentally cut this. So that's annoying, but this is the little card or whatever. So it says a jewel perfume, floral free, authentic love me fragrant fragrance is the most tender, the most bare, the most tooth toast. I don't know, pink grapefruit, leche, peony, fur best, jasmine petals, and cedar wood. Those are the notes. I don't know, I'm just trying to get into perfume if you haven't figured that out already. And I thought what better way than to just do scent birds so that, or something like it, so that I can get smaller dosages to try out. So eventually I'll have like a little collection, you know, because I'm gonna probably start using it. Or at this point I have two fragrance, fragrances that I can mix and match for the next month. So that's exciting. So I'm really excited about having the scent bird. Anyway, tomorrow is upload day on Wednesday on YouTube. And so I need to edit my video today naturally. So I'm about to do that. It's very rainy, gloomy, and cold. So I don't think I'm gonna go for a walk or exercise. I mean, I could in the garage, but I think I'm just gonna skip it and resume tomorrow and hit it with working out every day this week. So that's probably what's gonna happen. I have a lot going on. In addition to having fallen out with my husband, <laughs> life doesn't stop just because you have a disagreement. And I'm not here to downplay the disagreement, but you know, we don't have a lot of disagreements. So if we do have one, it's like a huge thing, like shocked and confused. But the beauty in disagreements with anyone is that, you know, likely you're gonna come out better for it on the other side, so long as everyone is committed, both parties or however many parties are committed to using effective communication and just, you know, moving forward. You know what I'm saying? So there's, there's always a huge learning experience, I guess, when it, we're always put to the challenge because we can effectively communicate when we're calm all day, every day. But then when we're put in a situation where we're not too calm, that's when we have to really try to tap into those effective communication skills. So in addition to that, Again, they don't happen often, so when they do, they're very much a shock. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm really not trying to be around this guy right now, even though I normally am 99.9% .9 of the time. It's a, it's a shocker. So all of that to say that life doesn't go, life doesn't stop just because of that. So we have been, we're hosting Thanksgiving. By hosting, I mean that Thanksgiving is going to take place here. We're each going to 
you know, prepare dishes. But for the most part, our cousin is going to do most of the cooking and then family will come over here. We're also hosting a Christmas gathering for friends. So we're kind of in the throes, I guess, of planning both of those. I have a friend coming from out of town next month. I just booked, found and booked um, a hair appointment. I just found and booked a nail appointment. <laughs> it's been a lot. My nail tech just had a baby. So she'll be gone until January. So I had to search high and low to find someone new. You know, not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things, but that's where my time has been going. I'm trying to study for my clinical exam that's coming up at the end of November, provided I keep the date at the end of November. I have not really been studying too much, so I probably need to change the date. It's just been a lot going on, you know? Just a lot. A lot of things taking place around here. Last weekend, we had this basketball tournament thing where we spent all day watching kids play for my husband's school. The next day, we had essentially a whole day. Uh, my friend had come over and then we were going to, she was already coming over. Then we got a last ish minute invite for my husband's friends shenanigans. So we did all of that. It's just been a lot going on. You know, we had our anniversary weekend away the week before that. The weekend before that, we had our in home wine tasting party. It's just been a lot going on since September. And I was looking at the calendar, and there is a lot going on from now until the end of December, much of which we have put upon ourselves. But it's just a lot, you know? I'm trying to read, I'm trying to work out, I'm trying to take care of this house and meal prep and meal plan and all those types of things on top of trying to have a well-balanced social life. And then I have side hustles, which it's just a lot going on right now. So I can't wait until January. Every third quarter is like this, every single one. I don't really know. I guess people are wanting to hang out and be around friends and family members, but we get so many invites at the end of the year on top of uh, the stuff that we're already scheduling to do, our fun little fall events and Christmas events. We have a out of town football game this weekend, my alma mater versus my husband's alma mater. We have tickets to this Christmas thing. We have tickets to this Christmas play. We're, I'll make it through to January. We have our financial advisor meeting coming up. We have Thanksgiving break coming up, which is great. You know, decorating for Christmas. It's all the things happening and I'm here for it, but it's a lot. So I just have to better manage my time. And I realize I need to do this every third quarter. Like every third quarter, I need to be prepared for war, <laughs> to be prepared for all the different things. We're gonna be volunteering because we do a lot of volunteering during this time. It's just a lot going on, you know? Christmas shopping, Black Friday shopping, it's a lot. So that's what I've been up to. I'm about to make me a parfait because I am starving. Then I am going to, that's why I'm hungry. I think I ate lunch early. I'm starving. I'm gonna make that as a snack, edit this video, wait for my husband to get home. And I mean, honestly, at this rate, I think I'm just gonna hop in bed. <laughs> And maybe take my iPad and my planner with me so I can do a little planning, but it's definitely giving relaxed vibes. Hello, happy Wednesday. Home from work and it is time to go walking, as you can see. Anyway, I purchased this for my friend. We are going out on Friday to celebrate her engagement. And I definitely want to do this just anyway, but also because, you know, I want to celebrate her because... I think she's going to do like a more low-key kind of wedding situation. I don't really know. I don't know if she knows, but either way, you know, it's still a big deal. So we're going to celebrate it um, just in a small way, just like an engagement thing. I like doing that when folks I know are getting engaged. So I was last minute, which I hate being, and I had to purchase this from Amazon because I would not have been able to get it in time or one in time had I purchased from Etsy. I prefer to buy these types of things from Etsy because... You know, just supporting a small business and all of that. But I will have to say, I think this is like embedded in the material. Whereas from Etsy, they may have like pressed it on. You know how they sometimes do with custom shirts and stuff. So I don't really know about this kind of stuff. But got her this. I think her favorite color is pink. I don't know. She wears it a lot. So it says fiance, which is so cute. And then I also got this card from Amazon. Oh my God, he put a ring on it. It's Beyonce says fiance super cute this is a high quality card i was wondering why it came ups and why it was like five six dollars maybe not a, no it was like seven eight dollars i think um, not a terrible price because it's a good quality so i'm gonna write her 
a cute little note in there. And then this is the um, thing. What do you call it? Like a little envelope. It's super thick. It's like cardboard. That's crazy. So I was thinking, I don't know if I'm going to put, I think I was, the whole purpose of this is to take her, uh, me and our other friend, take her to dinner or out to eat or something. And that was going to be like her, you know, like a night out on the town kind of thing. That was going to be her gift for me. But I then wanted to just purchase this because it's cute. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to buy some wine and throw it in here. That could be cute. Or just call it a day with this. I may buy her a bottle of wine and throw in. So um, just wanted to show these cute little items that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to put these up. I'll probably go ahead and, ba and bag them eventually. Maybe tonight, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to show y'all this because it's super cute. I'm about to go walking and then today I don't have a lot to do. Oh, by the way, I got this new case and I love it. Super cute. I have to take off the charger to do, take off this case to charge it because I do the MagnaSafe magnetic, you know, the wireless charging situation. So that part is annoying, but otherwise I do love it. And... I'm excited that I just got this, but just wanted to share an update. I'm about to go walking, may do some editing tonight. Just take it easy, really. I don't have much to do. And then that's gonna be it for me. So I will check in with you guys later. All right, so today, you know, we are in, you know, Statesboro, Georgia, home of the Georgia Southern University. Today we have a football game, Georgia Southern versus Marshall University. Um, yeah, and we're just here to enjoy the game. I graduated from Georgia Southern University. Shay graduated from Marshall University. I also did my uh, internship at Marshall University, so that's kind of my ties to Marshall University. So we just figured we'd come to the game, celebrate, and, you know, just watch some good football. Go Hurt! Good morning, happy Tuesday, and happy Monday, and happy first day of Thanksgiving break. My husband is actually off of work all week in his um, district. At my district, we work, are supposed to work today and tomorrow, but I took off because I'm not really a take off work kind of person. I don't really, I mean, I will, as we all know, but I don't really do that too much. But what I will do for sure, is A, I'll take off my birthday. I'll take off if I'm going on a trip or whatever. I have no problem. It's just, I don't really go that many places. Plus, I work for the school district, so we have a lot of days off just anyway. And lastly, though, if I can severely extend a break, then I'm going to do that. So it made no good sense to me to go to work today and tomorrow, be off from, wait, yeah. Be, it just made sense to prolong the my time off. So now I have nine full days off with my husband, which I prefer. Anyway, today's Monday. We're up and at it. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. We've decided that because of the schedule of events for this week, we're going to go ahead and we're hosting Thanksgiving dinner for the first time. Well, we cooked at home last year for the first time, I think with COVID, but we only invited over one person, which was my mother-in-law because of COVID. So technically we're hosting, but we're not actually having to cook. Our cousin and other family members are actually going to prepare most of the dishes. We're just going to prepare a couple of them, but we're going to have it here at our house. So because of all of that, we have a cousin coming in out of town and stuff like that. We're just going to try to get things out of the way now. So we did put up one Christmas tree and then our other Christmas tree upstairs. By put up, I mean we literally just put them together. They're pre-lit, so all we have to do now is decorate them and then put the tree skirts on them and then our trees will be up and then we're also going to slowly start decorating the house so that by Thanksgiving or the end of this week the whole place will be decorated that's kind of the plan so we're up now we're about to go get breakfast at this little hood spot we get like this whole breakfast platter I'll show you for like four dollars is wild they did not raise their prices with COVID or inflation so I love that for them so we're gonna go there then we're gonna run our errands I want to go to Target for something 
we want to go to Big Lots and I think Hobby Lobby because there are a few Christmas items that I want that I know I don't have. I want this little thing that Target has. I'll show you if I find it at my Target. And then I also want some picks for my vases or vases for Christmas because I've never done that. And I have a number of vases now, so I want to fill them like this one. I'll change out this situation here, there, and I'll put in some Christmas-esque picks. Probably, I don't know. I don't, I've never purchased Christmas. These were my fall, my first pieces of, it's technically foliage. That was my first time purchasing something like that. So what I think would make the most sense though, if I can't find like winter foliage is just to buy some picks, which sometimes double, you know, some people use it interchangeably. So that's what's going to happen. I did get my nails done, like I showed you. My nail tech just had a baby, by just I mean like last week. And so she's out, well, she's not on her scheduler until January. So I'm like, whoo, that's, uh, that's a long time. Let me find a new person. So I found someone new, got my nails done. Set Friday, we celebrated my friend's engagement. That was so fun. Oh, I hung out with my two friends that I have here. So I have two friends here that I've made in the seven years that I've lived here and I made them both at work because realistically speaking, that's the only place I really make friends or have ever made really close friends. So they're ex coworkers turned friends and I've known them for as long as I have lived here. Um, so hung out with them and then that was Friday. Spent pretty much all day with them pretty much after work. Saturday, went and got my nails done. Went to Statesboro to watch my alma mater versus my husband's alma mater, and we won. And I randomly met or ran into one of my college friends who I used to study economics with like 10 years ago. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like, I can't believe I recognized her. And anyway, so that took place. That was fun. So we sat and talked to her and her husband, stood and talked to her and her husband the whole halftime. And then we came home. And then we went to the club, obviously. It's like a little club bar thing up the street. And it's so chill. So we just go and drink like wine and beer and then leave. And it's a good time for us. It's just enough. We spend like two hours in there. They close at like 145 and then we leave. And that's all we need to do. Dance. And that's it. Oh, and they have food there too. And eat and then leave. And then yesterday was Sunday. I went and got my hair done by my husband's friend's wife. We have been hanging with them a little over the past few years and I keep forgetting that she does hair I'm like I need to go get let her do my hair why am I well I had one person I, I'm kind of consistent in that way I'll be honest I had one person before I met her and I'd just been going to her but she moved out of town back to Atlanta so I needed to find someone else to do my, my box braids I have different people to do different hair so that's what's happening today we're gonna go run errands we're gonna come back we'll probably do some decorating and just chilling for today because after today we actually have lots of things to do <laughs> um like appointments i got a babysit tomorrow um i got a meeting tomorrow and and other things to do so today's really the only day that we don't have anything really to do so that's why we're gonna try to get some christmas decor up sad about taking down fall decor honestly a lot of it i feel like i can leave up so I, i'm loving that i can leave up a lot of the fall decor with the christmas decor it's just that I'll probably have to take down or remove a lot of the pumpkins but that's pretty much it everything else because I didn't do a lot you know I could technically leave up like I could technically leave this foliage up and I think it'll be fine but if I can find some picks for a few dollars then I'm gonna try that so I'll keep you guys posted and I will chat with you guys in a few good morning happy Wednesday it is the day before Thanksgiving and we have much to do today I think I checked in yesterday yes we continued decorating yesterday. We have more decorating to do today, but we'll finish today. We don't have that much to, do, to go. I am about to film some content. I like to get up a video around the middle of the week, which is typically Wednesday. So I need to film a video for today. And then I also need to film, refilm some sponsor content. My husband's getting his hair cut now. When he gets back, we'll continue with decorating and prepping and then we will start cooking this evening by we I mean our family members are going to come over here and begin cooking for Thanksgiving this evening so that's pretty much what we have planned oh I think my friend is going to stop by because I ordered her a 2023 planner and she wants to pick up that so anyway that's what I am up to today about to film and I will check in with you guys later
the 29th and I am sick. I have not been sick in four years. I typically do not get sick, so the fact that I'm sick is very annoying, but it's okay. I've been taking it easy and resting. Um, I felt ill or started to experience symptoms on Sunday, which was the day that I was supposed to, the day before, I was supposed to go back to work. And I went ahead and took off, then I took off again. And so basically I just went ahead and took off the whole week. I didn't know what those first symptoms <coughs> were. I'm gonna close out this vlog here. I don't know what tomorrow's symptoms will bring. I don't know if I'm gonna lose my voice. I typically don't. I really don't even remember what it's like being sick because I'm never sick. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm gonna close out the vlog today. I'm gonna be in the same shape that I'm in tomorrow. I hope that you guys enjoyed your November. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you're new and if you're liking what you're seeing. And I will see you guys right back here in a few days in a new video. Bye guys.